Okay, in today's notes, we're going to take a look at the sphere. So recall from that Learn Zillion video that to create a sphere, it should say, and not a cylinder, so that's a typo. We rotate a circle about a diameter. So we take a look at the sphere, we have half of the sphere shaded in green, and half of a sphere is called a hemisphere. This circle here, which is the largest circle of the sphere, is called the great circle. That's the circle that splits the sphere into two hemispheres. We have our radius and then we have the center. Both, um, if you look on your Common Core reference sheet, the Common Core reference sheet gives you the volume formula for the sphere. So let's write that down first. So the volume of a sphere is written as 4 thirds pi radius cubed. And then the surface area is not on the Common Core reference sheet, but it is on the old reference sheet from the state, which I'll give you for your assessments. And that is 4 pi r squared. Okay, that's our surface area. Down below, it explains a little bit more about the surface area formula and the volume formula. So let's start with surface area. It says to understand how the formula for the surface area of a sphere is derived, think of a baseball. The surface area of a baseball is sewn from two congruent shapes, each which resembles, it's not exact, but it re resembles two joined circles. Okay, so we have our circle here, and then the other piece, this circle here, and this circle here. So together, okay, the entire covering of the baseball consists of four circles, and the area of one is going to be pi r squared, so the area of the whole covering itself is approximately 4 pi r squared. Now volume, imagine that the interior of the sphere with a radius r is approximated by n pyramids, with each of a base area of b and a height of r. So in these pyramids, this dimension here, the radius, is the height of each one of those pyramids. The volume of each pyramid is one-third area of the base times the height, which is your radius. And then if we add all of that up, it would be the number of pyramids times the base area. Okay, the surface area of a sphere is approximately equal to mb, or 4 pi r squared. So you can approximate the volume of the sphere as follows. Okay, the volume of the pyramid is one third area of the base times the height. Okay, so the volume of a pyramid, it's not a very good pyramid, is one third capital B times H. Now our base is made up of an n number of pyramids. And then the capital B stands for the area of that base. And this R is the height of each pyramid, which is the radius of the sphere. Okay? So NB, that's all of those base areas. So all of these base areas are going to eventually cover the whole surface of the sphere. So that's why down here we see one-third of the surface area of the sphere times r. Well, one-third of four gives us the four-thirds. Bring down your pi, and then r squared times r gives you r cubed. Okay, I'm going to go to the main screen now, which I have a video I'd like you to search on YouTube. Okay, so here's, uh, go into YouTube type in the volume of a sphere derivation, and then watch this video here. This is a good uh, video that I found that really explains and does a nice job animating all of the pyramids 
inside of a sphere. And you can see it's short. It's only 4 minutes and 14 seconds. All right, so back to the notes, applying and using the formula. So go ahead and take a look at example number one. It says find the volume in terms of pi. I'm just going to enlarge the screen. First thing you want to do is write down your formula. So volume of a sphere, which is on the Common Core reference sheet, is 4 thirds pi r cubed. We have a radius of 6, so it's going to be 4 thirds pi times 6 cubed. Now 6 cubed is 216, and then 4 thirds of 216, we end up with a total volume of 288 pi meters cubed. Number two, find the surface area in terms of pi. So the surface area formula is 4 pi r squared. In this picture they give us the diameter and we now have a radius of 4. So it's going to be 4 pi times 4 squared, which is 16. 16 times 4 give us a total surface area of 64 pi. We're not given a unit, so let's just write units squared. Down to the hemisphere. Find the volume and surface area of the hemisphere to the right. Round your answer to the nearest tenth with pi as part of your answer. So for a hemisphere, the volume Okay, it's going to be one half of four thirds pi r cubed. And one half of four thirds is two thirds. So the volume is going to be two thirds pi r cubed. Radius of 10 cubed. Now, 10 cubed is a thousand. And two thirds of a thousand is going to be 666, and two thirds are 66 six repeating. Now it wants it to the nearest tenth with pi as part of our answer. So rounding to the nearest tenth, our volume is approximately 666.7 pi, and our unit cubic feet. For surface area, well, we have this flat surface, okay? So our surface area is going to be pi r squared plus this curved surface. Now, the curved surface is the total surface area. So we're then going to add in half of the surface area, which was 4 pi r squared or 2 pi r squared. So if you want to look at it as pi r squared plus 2 pi r squared, we're going to have to do 3 pi r squared for the uh, total formula. Okay? So 3 times pi times 10 squared, which is 300 pi. Now, once it's in there, it's 10, so we do have to put the 300.0 pi square feet. Number four, if the surface area of a sphere is 400 pi square meters, find the volume of the sphere in terms of pi. So let's write out the formula. Surface area is 4 pi r squared. We have a surface area of 400. So we have 400 pi, rather, equals 4 pi r squared. Divide by 4 pi, and we end up with 100 equals r squared. Take the square root, and r is plus or minus 10. Reject the negative, and we have a radius of 10. Now we can plug that radius of 10 in to find the volume. And volume is equivalent to 4 thirds pi r cubed, so 10 cubed. We mentioned 10 cubed is 1,000, and then 4 thirds of 1,000 is going to be 1,333 and a third pi meters cubed. 
And then last, it says if the area of a great circle of a sphere is 25 pi. So if we draw a sphere, let's practice drawing a sphere. I draw a circle, and then I draw the back side of another circle here in the middle, and then I make this part dotted. So the radius of that sphere, okay, if the area of the circle, so it says the area of this circle is 25 pi, and area is found by pi r squared, we know that our radius is 5. Because 5 squared is 25. So with a radius of 5, we're going to find the volume and surface area of the sphere. So let's do surface area first, because that's a short and easy one. So surface area is 4 pi times r squared. So 5 squared is 25. And then 25 times 4, we have a surface area of 100 pi square inches. And then volume. Volume is 4 thirds pi radius of 5 cubed. So 5 cubed is 125, and then 125 times 4 thirds is 166 and 2 thirds pi inches cubed. Now in the question at all, it didn't tell me how to leave my answer, or the one above said leave it in terms of pi. If it doesn't tell you, you leave it exact. And exact is in terms of pi. So we don't want to write a decimal because the decimal is rounded. Okay, and that includes our notes for day three on spheres.